It's been a while since you've seen me hosting an event, but here I am back in New York City at the Empire AMC Theater, one of the biggest theaters here in New York City. And I'm here for the launch of Promised Land, which is a movie produced by NetQuest Studios and directed by Kevin Delvey. The movie is actually a sold out event today and as you know, Urban Asian likes to bring you all the latest, the greatest and the best we can offer. So sit back, relax, make some popcorn, watch our show and get ready for the full VIP treatment because we're starting shortly. Keep it locked to UrbanAsian.com. So Kevin, what was the reason that you made this movie and what got you into film? Well, I think, you know, there's a lot of, uh, lot of immigrants in the U.S. that face us. They're struggling to make a good life, a good living. Uh, you know, they're doing everything they can. They are working hard. But because of the complex immigration system, they find themselves in situations that really tear their family apart. They have to basically leave their jobs and go back home. They're stuck in these endless jobs where they're waiting 10, 20 years for green cards. So we're just trying to tell their story and hopefully make a difference in the world. There aren't many movies, even in Hollywood, where they deal with parallel storylines at the same time. So what gave you that idea? So we interviewed about 22 different um, you know, sets of immigrants, families, and they all had such wonderful stories to tell that we really thought that we couldn't do justice until, unless we had multiple storylines that were happening simultaneously. When you decided to base this on true stories, did that help you in writing the characters or did you have some characters in mind before you had started this whole journey? Yeah, no, I definitely had a lot of characters in mind. The, the only challenge is all these immigrants are so afraid because, you know, they're living here legally, but still they're incredibly afraid that any day they would have to pack up their bags and go back home. So I had to keep their stories confidential, their names confidential. So I had to get a lot of, I had to get really creative with the stories, with the names, personalities, and characters. But I think I kept the same message, the same essence of the story, uh, and I think that really helped. This is just one of the many screening tours that we're doing. This, this premiere kicks off our summer tour, so please come check out the film in other cities like DC, LA, Chicago, and Even New Jersey, in New Jersey, yes. <laughs> It was a great script. It was a great character to play. Um, you know, she's complicated. It's not one-dimensional as sometimes we people of color get cast in, in you know, in, in you know, in American films and TV and stuff. So it was great to play a character with such dimension and problems and issues. And it's a great issue to tackle too. So I loved, I loved, I loved everything. I think that the thing about this movie that immigration is still such a current issue. People don't realize how current it is. Right. And I'm just bringing it back to the forefront is exactly what we need it. Who are you wearing today? Because I heard I'm that. I'm wearing uh, Click by Sivi. Um, yeah, she's a fantastic designer that, that, that Kevin and Sonny put us in touch with. So myself and a couple of the other actresses in the movie are wearing her. So yeah, so it was great. I didn't have to even decide, like figure out what to wear tonight. So Dr. Khan, what would you recommend to your patients if they came in with an ailment? With an ailment? <laughs> well, um, I'm a professor, so I would recommend they study much more. <laughs> and if you watch the scene in the movie where I'm lecturing my students, you'll see I'm saying just that. So how was it playing a father in the movie? <laughs> ah, well, it prepared me, if, if you know Rashan uh, as my son, prepared me for my two and a half year old that I have now. Ah, uh, that's adorable. <laughs> Are you hoping he's also going to be in movies? Uh, no, my daughter? Um, well, I put her in some commercials, but my wife won't let me, so, you know. <laughs> but maybe he'll fall into it too, well, she'll fall into right. it rather, <laughs> so it'll be yeah. wonderful to have the whole family be in it. There you go. <laughs> so what was the one thing from Promise Anne when you were shooting, a like, story you could tell us about that's PG rated? <laughs> that's PG rated. Um, well, we built a great camaraderie with uh, my family. Um, uh, all four actors really worked well together and so we had a ball um, so if, if Roshan as I was referring to my son the only member of our family who is not here tonight because he had to go to a graduation and I still want to know did you graduate but uh, no it's just the camaraderie we built and we had a lot of fun with each other and I think that comes across in the performances. So what got you into acting then because you seem like you're so natural in front of the camera as we can see even now. Hello. Um, <laughs> So I actually trained. Uh, I, I've been acting God for a lot of years. Uh, I started in high school. 500 years ago. Uh, yeah, well, hey, hey, say that again. Um, and I trained at some conservatories and then I've been working in theater a lot. Um, some film, some, you know. And then Kevin conned me into doing this movie, so. 
Hey, he's conning everyone, even I to know. see this, I think. I know, I know, <laughs> that's, I that's a rumor we're spreading, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it like being in theater versus film, because I've heard many people say that it's such a different dynamic, mm -hmm. because in theater you really had to be on point because of the live audience. So right. how do you f feel that dynamic as being? Oh, absolutely. I actually love theater because you feed off of the audience. And so every performance and every moment is different. And it's not just with Kevin like doing this film yelling at you and then cut. Let's do scene 32. Oh, that was pretty good. But, you know, let's do take 24 because I kind of want to correct that one second. What's the other message that you really want to tell people who are into film? And what's the thing about Promise Anne that you want everyone to understand? Because I know it's an immigrant experience. So how did you relate to the storyline? Well, I think the stories that are told in the movie are all very important because immigration obviously is a key issue and critical issue in the States. And again, supporting South Asians, period, whether it be in the arts or any other endeavor, uh, if we don't support our own, it's not going to happen. I, I really think that these sorts of stories need to be told. What did you learn the most from the whole Promise and experience then, in terms of acting? <laughs> well, the British accent. Uh... <laughs> Um, sometimes you know you just get lucky with chemistry and the ensemble. So there's so many different actors, you know, different groups, and it's just you know take a good nature and try to make it work, and uh, it helps. It goes a long way. We'll say. Because I think with this movie, it was quite a big ensemble cast, and with the three parallel storylines, it must have made shooting interesting. <laughs> so because <laughs> we didn't get to read all of the script, we only had our portion. So it's kind of like okay, I know my five people, and then we're gonna get surprised at the actual premiere. Um, <laughs> But have you had a chance to see this cut yet, or is this the first time you got to see it? This particular cut, I saw an earlier version yeah. last year, and you know, it's been in process, and they've been grooming it very well, and uh, so I'm excited. But it's very wonderful that you got to be part of this project, and what do you feel about, what do you, what do you see as promise, Anne? Because I think the whole point of this movie is to give it a positive spin. So when you hear the words promise, Anne, and the USA, how do you associate it? I think, especially from the immigrant, you know, point of view, uh, you know, there is so much more opportunity here, and just the possibilities. I mean, not that it always turns out maybe the point of plan, but you know, compared to some other places in the world, this is not a bad place to be. So, have, what other um, acting roles did you start out with? You know, I mean, I've done a lot of interesting roles. I'll say, maybe not so much in the Indian vein, but. Um, I did a couple of like like revenge kind of you know classic killer things, which you don't think traditionally again. So, so should I be standing in the corner? <laughs> no. I can't really pack anything in this episode. So, no. <laughs> but I mean, you know, some just a good range of things that I mean, I've been lucky to explore characters. Um, last summer, actually, I actually did something where I play a mother and you know kidnap daughter. So it was a little more on the serious side, perhaps, than some of these films. But um, yeah, just whatever comes, I, I try to take and you know absorb and. So how was the Promise Anne experience for you? Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. I mean, the cast and crew are amazing. We shot it well. Kevin is so organized. It couldn't be more fun. Really, it was a good time, yeah. It seems like a very wonderful crew, because as you can tell from our interview so far, everyone has wonderful personalities, and I think it just radiates in your movies, too. That's why it works, right? That's why it works, yeah. <laughs> so what did you think about the message that Promise Anne is projecting about a positive view of immigration? You know, I think it's really good because because those three stories that are in it kind of can happen to anybody. So it's kind of nice to see the effects of it and to see what what is being done because of it. And so hopefully that'll motivate people to kind of move along the right path or get things done the right way. So I think it affects a lot of people. You'll see. Was it, what was the most challenging thing about your role? Because I know it was one of the more serious roles in there for a bit. So how was that? You know, it was. I think it was mostly the accent and just kind of trying to be emotional about it, the fact, without giving it away, that, yeah. that something bad happens and you just learn, like as in life, to just keep going and deal with it, you know? The energy in the room is lovely, it's exciting, families flown in, friends have flown in, people from New York that we don't even, um, that we don't have really ties and connections to are coming out to support the film, and it's really exciting. I think it's, it seems like a very wonderful cast, so how was it for you working on this whole Promise and journey and being on the journey as one of the main cast members? It was really exciting, and for me, um, I worked closely with my scene partner, Fazia, um, sort of, you know, we know that the, the film covers the the stories of three different families. Um, my scene partner, Fazia, that was the first time we got to know one another, first time we met, and here we are playing um, this, this same-sex couple that have been trying to get pregnant together, and the love there is is authentic, it's real, and it's um, the way that they support one another is lovely. And what they have, the obstacles that they face because of that, 
And let me just take that outside um, note of, as an actor, I'm meeting Fazia for the first time. And our first I would day. never have guessed that because the way you guys projected Thank it was you. wonderful. Like the chemistry between them, the energy, the relationship is believable. I and that's what you need as an actor. I appreciate that. I think I got very lucky. She was extremely fun to work with. You're right. We connected right away. But the first day of filming, we literally, um, you know, we're checking the the. Um, the pregnancy test together and we're excited, we're elated, we're, we're pregnant. And to have that kind of um, honest intimacy, the, um, the joy, the, the pain of all of these confusing emotions, especially when, as we learn in this story as it progresses, that they have some choices to face and as far as um, where is her work going to take her, whether in the States or not very real and you have to trust that person and, and she was just lovely and Kevin was lovely guiding us through that. Because it seemed like a very challenging role to take on since obviously there is still some stigma against the gay and lesbian community and even within the Desi population it's still a little bit there is stigma there. So how did you feel taking on such a challenging role? Well and I think it, it is really difficult for families too because in, in um, the, the movie doesn't shy away from conflict. It doesn't shy away from how is her mother taking this news. Her mother very much still wants the arrangement marriage she has someone very much in mind and he's a man it's a boy um, and here I am and the, the way that she treats me and yet I think my character wants to be understanding I as Brenda want to be understanding we know that this is you know families have traditions that they, they have um, they care about what others think and, and it's, it's a learning it's it's growing it's understanding it's loving no matter who you are or what you are and evolving, you know, meeting these different cultures coming together, uh, the fear of becoming too Americanized and losing your roots, it's important. It's important I topics. The way the, the movies projected, and especially your storyline, is one of the ones that I think really needed to be told to people because I think Indian movies do tend to shy away from it and at most they have a gay or lesbian character as a comic character and this movie actually puts the realism there. So did you notice that when you were filming it or how did you guys bring that out? Oh, I mean, one of the um, more uh, lovely scenes that we were working with, um, sorry, it's really noisy here at the theater. Um, sorry, one of the scenes that we were working with, we were in Lincoln Park in Chicago, and we just took the time to, to thank you, noise, um, took the time to get to know one another, walking through the park, um, talking and the cameras were off in the distance, we had no microphones on us and the, it was literally capturing us just talking on a real level and Fazia, Bre uh, Fazia, we talked as Brenda and Fazia, we talked about our families, our real stories and I think the camera caught real the real moments. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Kevin trusted us to do that and find that, yeah, and that was powerful and lovely. I think with this movie, um, it's very honest. I think the way everything is depicted, the three storylines, the way the actors depict it, you believe it, you believe the characters, you can relate to them. But you did such a great job with this movie and the character you played because it was a heavy role. Obviously, it's a light mood right now because we're so excited, yeah. but the role itself is a very heavy role, right. and you did a wonderful job because it could have been overacted and that would have ruined it, but I think you played it with the right amount, so that was wonderful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think it was very nice to watch and any other message you want to give your fans and um, thank you for being along for the ride it's been just a wonderful journey and um, enjoy promised land thank you so much and thank you for this wonderful interview <laughs>